Hey guys and welcome back to LFC Proud Fans TV with me Calvin. Hope you're doing well. And I want to make this quick. Don't want to spend too long on it. Uh, it's going to be my Premier League predictions for this weekend's Premier League games. So uh, let's get started with the uh, early kickoff, which which is the uh, Merseyside derby. Um, you know, if uh, you're a Liverpool fan, you come across this channel. Once you watch this video, please check out my uh, Liverpool v Everton pre-match thoughts video before this video. I just did that now. Uh, but I, I'm going for a 2-1 or 3-1 win for uh, Liverpool in this game. Um, I think Everton will put up a fight in Lukaku since he announced his uh, he, he wants to leave Everton this summer. Uh, he, I think he scored a goal or two in his last uh, game, the game after he announced it. So he'd be on form. I, I expect him to score. They've got a lot of injuries, Everton. Uh, now losing Seamus Coleman through injury, um, which is a big blow to them at right back. And uh, you know we've lost Lana, same thing, international England. Uh, but I'm sure we'll get through it, um, another win at home. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 or 3-1 win for, for Liverpool in this game. Next up onto the uh, 3 o'clock kickoffs, we've got Chelsea versus Crystal Palace. Now, Crystal Palace have been playing a well, since they've uh, brought in Sacco from you know Liverpool on loan, he's really held them on defence. Uh, but this is Chelsea we're talking about. They're going for the Premier League title. Uh, it's like nobody can stop them. Um, I'm going to go for a 2-0 or 3-0 win for Chelsea in this game. I, I can't see Crystal Palace scoring. Um, I know I said about Sacco, but this is a Chelsea... Dio Costa expected to be fit. Eden Hazard as well. Um, you know, you've got the likes of Marco, Mar Marcus Alonso. Is that his name? His name right? And um, and the other guy as well, William. Uh, so, um, I'm going to go for a 2-0, 3-0 win for Chelsea in this game. Next, we've got Man United versus West Brom. Um, you now, West Brom picking up. Was it a 3-1 win against Arsenal? Um, the week. Well, before the internationals, their last game, Premier League game, which was something fantastic. I'll tell you something. Um, I think United have lost both Phil Jones and Smalling in defence. That's what I've just heard. Um, for us to do the international thing, but they've both lost them. So the defence will be with They're not doing great at home. Remember when they drew 1 1 with Bournemouth? And there's been other results where smaller teams have really come up. But, you know, United have probably just won it, edged it, and so But it's really. Worried Man United when they played Old Trafford um, against small teams. I'm going to go for, but they've still got, is his name uh, Mikatari? And uh, it looks to be fit. you got Martial. Um, Ibrahimovic is still, I think he's still suspended after that stamp in that Bournemouth game. With, uh, no, I don't know, it was, it was like, a, I think it was the other way around, but uh, yeah, it was. And um, I think it was to do with the uh, bit of a fight and all that. Tyrone Mings, I don't know, but uh, he's definitely not playing. Um, but I still expect Man United to win. I don't want to, but I expect them. Um, it could be a 1 1 draw actually when I think about it, so I'll put that to the side. But I'm going to go for a 2 1 uh, Man United win. I still think they've got enough in their attack to beat West Brom, but I think West Brom will score. Um, depends who, but I don't think they'll win. West Brom, so I'm going to say 2-1 Man United or 1-1 for that game. Next up, we've got Leicester versus Stoke. Now, Leicester have not lost a game in all competitions um, since they uh, let, let Ranieri uh, go, since they got rid of him. Um, it's obvious the players, you know, they weren't happy with the manager. The, uh, Vardy and Schmeichel, Mares. Who, you know, they're all pumped up now. It was the players' fault. It wasn't Ranieri's fault. They're all up for it now. They're just so glad he's gone, aren't they? So, I don't care really. But I expect uh, this is the Leicester. They're playing like the Leicester. In the last few games they've won. They're playing like the Leicester they were last season, going for the title. Why couldn't they have played like that before Ranieri was sacked? I mean, it's embarrassing, really, to be honest with you. But. I don't really give a crap. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 win for Leicester. I'm saying a 3-1 win. Uh, I think they'll be very really pumped up for this. They've been in good form. I expect a Leicester win. I'm going for probably Vardy and Morris to uh, get the goals in this game. Watford 
versus Sunderland. That's a tough game to call because it could go either way. It could be a draw. I'm not really a draw person. We're going to go 1-1 for this to the side, you know. But then it's it's hard to predict because any of these team, two teams could win when you think about it. Uh, but I'm going to go for either 1-1 draw or what for the win, 2-1. I'm saying that. I think Defoe might score for Sunderland. Uh, but I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Watford or a 1-1 draw. Burnley versus Spurs. Turf Moor, we know what Burnley are like. You've heard me mention before. You know that they make their home ground like a fortress, which is great to see. Um, you know, picking up points and all that. Um, teams find it hard to pick up points against Burnley. Sometimes find it hard to score goals against them. Good defence, um, but I've just got that feeling it's gonna. I think Spurs will sneak it. I think it could be a 1-1 draw and say another 1-1 draw. Or I'm going to go for a 2-1 or 3-1 win for Spurs. You're probably freaking out thinking, oh, it's a bit high, isn't it, Calvin? Uh, high of a score, isn't it? Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to go for that. 2-1 or 3-1 or 1-1 for Spurs you, know, Spurs. you know what I mean? So I've just got that feeling Spurs are going to sneak it. If it's going to be just an edge win, I think it could be 2-1. I think you've got the likes of Son, Eriksen, Deli Ali. I mean... It's it's just it's just one of those games. I mean, I think Harry Kane's still injured, isn't he? So, um, but they still got the attack. I know you think they got defence. You got Tom Heaton's doing well. I think Burnley will score, but I think it could be a one-one draw, or, or I think Spurs will ledge it. Hull versus West Ham. Now both teams can score now. They're doing well. I like this new newish manager for uh, Hull. It's a good manager, but I'm going to predict a two-one win. Some more misery for West Ham. 2-1 win for Hull in this game. I think their attack is just slightly better. Um, I think Roberts... I think he could play against his old club. Yeah, I think he can. So Roberts not grass to play against his old club. Um, I think he can do that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just when it's loans you can't do that. Um, but Roberts not grass to play against his old club. That'd be something. Could he get a goal? Could he get an assist? Who knows? I think he might. Um... I don't particularly rate him. I see him as a championship player. I thought that is the most... It, it, to replace Payet, a fantastic player as he is, you know what I mean? Uh, doing well at Marseille now. I mean, to be honest with you, that, that, that's just a really bad sign. It's a re- re- replacement, shall we say. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Hull in this game. A 2-1 win. Now on to the half past five kickoff on TV, and it's a derby. It's uh, Southampton versus Bournemouth. Now oh, I can't even pronounce his name. The Southampton striker is in top form. He's come from Napoli, um, Italian international, good player. Um, I think well, he's injured. He's injured along with Charlie Austin still. Uh, which is a shame. Yeah, you know, I was going to put him a fantasy team and put him as captain because I expect to, if he was going to play a three or four nil win for probably Bournemouth to score. I don't know because he haven't got Van Dijk, but um, a lot of goals for Southampton this game. They've just got Shane Long as a striker, but the, you know the attack is still good. They got if Tadic is playing and the other very very skillful thing they signed this year, this summer, this season. I mean. Um, left where I can't pronounce his name uh, he's been very good and you've got uh, Nathan Redmond as well he's good as well um, got Ward Prowse in midfield that you know can come up and uh, attack um, I'm going to go for a, a 2-1 win for Southampton I think Shane Long will score along with Redmond uh, probably Josh King for Bournemouth Um so yeah, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Southampton. Now on to uh, Sunday's games. The last two uh, Premier League games of this game week. We've got Swansea versus Middlesbrough. I'm going to go for a 2-3-0 or three nil win for uh, Swansea in this game. You know, Swansea have really impressed me the last few games. Last month or two, actually. And um, Middlesbrough just can't seem to score. I don't know what's wrong with them. They can't seem to score. Um... I mean, no offence to Negredo, I like him, but he's getting older now, he's getting slower, he's quite a tallish striker, 
it could have done with someone a bit of a younger, faster, something like that. Um, it's going to be hard for them to survive. But I hope they do stay up. But it's going to be hard for them to stay up and survive. Um, you know what I mean? So, I'm good. I think Lorente, I think Sigerson, oh, what a player he is. Um, they got some more players as well, I think. Um, I just going to cause Millsborough problems at the uh, Liberty Stadium. So I'm going to go for a 2 or 3 no, Probably 3 no win for Swansea in this game. Now on to the big, big game. And that is Arsenal versus Manchester City. Now, Petr Cech is expected to miss out on this game for injury. I've heard De Bruyne uh, has, is expected to play now because he's uh, been cleared to play. Um, it was... He was he, there was a bit of voice uh, well for Man City fans that he was gonna miss it. Got injured I think in uh for Belgium during the internationals. And um but I can actually see I don't know why. It's gonna be hard because I can see this going about three ways. Either three ways in this game. I can see I've gone one one, a draw, um an Arsenal win. The reason I say Arsenal win is because, you know, they got Sanchez. But Sanchez has been, he wants to leave and stuff. Um, they got Giroud. I don't rate Giroud. Danny Welbeck's always injured. Um, I, I, they could really turn things around and shock the Arsenal fans. But I can't see that. I'm going to go for a Man City win. I think Aguero and Co. Will uh, get the goals. I think it could be a two-one, a three-one win. A miserable day, another miserable day for Arsene Wenger. Arsenal out, all over the booze everywhere. Um, Arsenal fan TV going off. I enjoy that um, after the game, and um, I'm going to go for a two-one or three-one win for Man City in this game. I think it's going to be a very good game. But I see City dominating it, or a lot of it. So, uh, 2 or 3 1 win for Man City in this game. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you enjoyed, please give it a like. Leave down your predictions down below. I'd like to hear from you guys. Um, please share and uh, please subscribe. I shall see you guys in the next video. Enjoy this weekend, Ken's football. And um, I just want to finish off as well. Um, I don't usually do this a lot, but as you know, my local team is Blackpool FC. I thought I'd do a prediction for them as well. Blackpool will be playing Luton Town away from home tomorrow, 3 o'clock kickoff. Uh, both teams, same points, uh, but Luton just behind the goal difference. And uh, Blackpool in their playoffs at the minute, which is great to cement that. Um, I think in the outside the playoffs you know the, the automatic promotion is going to be too much uh, but great god that would be a lot easier you know what I mean uh, then go through the playoffs playing um, a team home and away and then going to the final play another team so you're playing like three fixtures in the playoffs um, I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm, it's going to be a tough game I, I wouldn't mind a draw a 1-1 one -one draw but I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Blackpool I'm going to stay positive and I'm going to go for uh, a 2-1 win for Blackpool and hopefully uh, continue, you know, cement that place in the uh, playoffs. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, bye bye, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.